So, quick update on the new reef tanks. The Lagoon, Inter of Marina Lagoon 25. It's probably five, six weeks in now from the start. So, <clears throat> just been letting it do its thing, letting it run. Obviously, we've got our two clowns in here, and our Azure Damsel, and just a little bit of a clean up crew. Big Mexican turbo still in here. There's a conch and a couple of other turbos. And everything is sort of really running textbook, really, to you know what you'd expect at this sort of stage from the beginning, sort of five weeks in. Uh, we've got that, we've had a diatom bloom, that's subsiding. And the next stage is this just sort of furry algae that's uh, on the rocks, which you always get. Uh, yeah, I'm doing large water changes weekly. Uh, just to keep the nutrients very, very low. And that's important for the first sort of six months of a tank. Keep the nutrients as low as possible because, you know, with new rock, that algae will take advantage of that. So what you want it to do is sort of mature up and get bacteria covered on every surface uh, and hopefully coralline. Uh, and that will uh, deter the uh, algae from getting a hold. So yeah, I'm quite happy really. It's a good stage really. It's, it's pretty clean inside the sand bed state, really nice and mint. Uh, so we had a little bit of a diatom bloom, like I say, nothing severe. That's been and gone really now. We've got a little bit kicking about, but uh, that's on its way out. But yeah, overall really happy. I'm just letting the tank roll. Just let it do its thing, doing my maintenance every week, do the water changes, I clean, uh, clean the sponges on the overflows. Actually, I've just got two sponges on the overflows. Clean the skimmer cup, and that's about it really. Not adding anything to the tank, just a little bit of uh, food for the fish, spectrum pellets, new life spectrum pellets. Uh, yeah, and everything's just, uh, it's going really well. It's gets to that stage now where it's like, okay, I wanna move on and put coral in and start developing the tank and getting uh, the, the coral frags in there that I, I want to put in here and uh, yeah I've got the other tank which I'm going to show you now uh, is the little cube the 25 litre cube which to be honest seeing as it's only again five weeks six weeks old everything in here is doing really well um, I bet we actually got growth on uh, quite a few bits especially the SPSD the ones you pour a look you can hear, see here it's encrusted on the glass um, can't really help up here this video but we need a lens on but yeah everything's sort of colored colored up well but a little bit pale but that's because obviously lack of nutrients when no fish in this tank um, it's just getting a fine balance it's just so hard to keep this tank stable and what I do plan to do is change this tank actually within the next few weeks to a, 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 a shallow frag tank that will be wider. Uh, yeah, so that's the plan. I'm not going to go too, into that too much, but that is the plan. We're not going to keep this cube running, I don't think. It's just not practical for frags, which is what this tank is going to be. And there's going to be uh, stuff that's fragged from the main lagoon into here to sell. Uh, so we're going to do a big coral tray on this stand, um, shallow. So yeah. But overall, it's uh, it's doing quite well. So it's been tricky to keep the alkalinity stable, uh, but we're just dosing all for reef, just fine tuning it, testing daily, and we're running it between sort of 10.5 and 12 dKH. Um, the nutrients is very, very low. I barely get a, a reading of nitrate. The phosphates that are uh, barely detectable, really, 0 0.01, 0 0.02. Um, yeah, it's... It is what it is, I'm doing my best. Um, so it's with such a new tank as well. It's not mature, so it get better with, uh, with time, but yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, make a big frag tank on this uh, stand. So that's uh, be something to look forward to over the next few weeks. So yeah, back onto the lagoon. Um, I've not put a doser on this yet, obviously, because we've got no coral, but that is gonna be the next stage. We're gonna move the doser from the little cube over and put a small single line dose on the on the uh, frag tank and yeah, so it's a little bit messy down here, but you would have the doser up here, dose containers down here. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a good tidy up really. I need to add a wave machine, a wave pump, 
Uh, my son's just got the new TMC one, which I'm really impressed with. Tiny, tiny pump, really good new controller. And hopefully we'll have that in the next few videos as well. But yeah, overall, really happy. I did have one disaster actually. My Red Sea LED 90, uh, loving this light, really, really. Going from Kessel over to this, bit of a gamble really, but the shimmer is just, oh, I mean, you can't really tell probably on the, on the camera, but at night this just looks ridiculously good. The shimmer on the wall and the ceiling. I um, mean, yeah, you can actually see it in daylight. Can you imagine what it's gonna be like at night time? But, <clears throat> and the gentle shimmer inside the tank. It's just perfect. Not quite so crazy as a Kessel shimmer. It's just a nice, gentle, natural shiver. Um, so that is, yeah, the good point. But the bad point is we had the power supply to the 90. The light just stopped working. And uh, yeah, my thoughts are it's the power supply. So th big thanks to Paraquatics in Ho. They actually had one <laughs> on the shelf. Um, which they put behind the counter for me. And I went down and collected, and it is different. It's different to the existing, you know, the one that came with the light. So I think it's one for that they're using on the uh, the Refled 160s. So they, knew, they Red Sea obviously knew there was an issue with those power supplies. Um, so I don't know if anybody else has had that problem. But yeah, so we've got the new power supply on there, and uh, she's all back up and running again. Uh, I just got to say though, the app. The app, this Reef Beat app for these lights, I love these lights, but the big letdown is the app. Very inconsistent, messes about around loads, it's very glitchy, you change anything, times, percentages change. Weirdly, one day you come down and think, well, why is the percentages really low? Should be up higher than that. If you run Red Sea lights, you know what I mean, but yeah, not impressed with the uh, the app, but once you've uh, got your schedule running, you don't really have to touch it, to be honest, so can't really complain, but overall, yeah, oh, I am happy I made that switch from Kessel to Red Sea. So yeah, what else? The skimmer, the stock skimmer, the Insta Marine Nouveau skimmer. A little bit noisier than I thought. It is bedding in and quieting down a little bit, but to be honest, you now I'm used to it. You can probably hear it in the video, but the skim, this is cleaned out yesterday. It produces beautiful skim and it's, it's doing its job uh, brilliantly. Uh, the TMC 2000 return pump, awesome. I'm glad it did that, so we've got 2000 litres turnover. This is a little frag rack in the corner is to stop my Mexican turbo going over the overflow grate here and uh, messing up everything. So yeah, we might have to put something bigger there that's a bit more discreet, but uh, something similar to like maybe another feeding pipe like that, but uh, I'm not sure I might even have the Mexican turbo out because of that reason, but. Yeah, it's just running like a Swiss watch, this tank. Beautiful, nice uh, water height, consistent. Uh, I do like the uh, the outlet nozzles as well. They're big, sort of spreads the flow evenly throughout the tank. There is quite a nice sort of, um, yeah, a good, nice amount of movement in the tank. Uh, I'm under no illusion, I'm not, probably not gonna get away with it without a wave pump, especially with the SPS. But uh, yeah, I think maybe just uh, one of the TMC wave pumps to start with, see what sort, of, sort of flow we get. And uh, it's got one piece of horn in this little pulse coral, which is done brilliantly from day one. Fisher, happy as Larry. Nitrates and phosphates are down near zero. But I am doing huge water changes per week, sort of eighty percent with the Red Seas Coral Pro. So yeah, so I thought I'd just check in with you, show you uh, how it's all going. Uh, loving the tank, absolute. This is the. I, I, yeah, if you follow my videos, you know I've had lots of tanks, and before I even started doing videos, I've had many, many tanks before. I've been reefing twenty five years, and pan my heart, this is the best tank I've had. That I've you know, been most happy with. You know, I love the style of it, that Lagoon style. The build quality is brilliant. I love the uh, aluminium frame stand cabinet. It's just lovely. Just love it. This is, this is going to end up looking awesome, this tank. Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to wrap the video up. Obviously, make sure if you're not subscribed to my channel, obviously subscribe hit that like if you enjoyed the video if 
did enjoy it. Obviously, thumbs down on it. Um, any comments you got, let me know in the box below. And uh, I'll check in in a week or so's time. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.